What's that? Like this. Just stick this on them as you brush. Ah! Hey guys, Rich Ferguson here, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you 10 crazy and weird pranks and tricks you can do with your ear. Check it out. Oh yeah, there's nothing much better than cleaning out your ear and I like to get in there pretty deep. Oh yeah, that's nice, woo! Let me get that back out of there. Oh, ooh, woo, it's good for the brain. So for this, all you need is a Q-tip, and I gotta let you know right now, don't actually stick this deep into your ear. You're gonna hurt your eardrum. You're going to pretend to stick it in your ear. So this is what it looks like to your victim, your mom, your brother, your roommate. You're gonna stick it like this, and you're gonna push, and the Q-tip is gonna go behind your finger as you pretend to push it in, but it's actually not going in at all. Let me show you from the back. See? Then you're gonna clip the Q-tip right here and grab it and pull it behind and out behind this finger as it looks like you're doing this. You see? So you're gonna pretend to push it in, but don't do that because now they can see it. Make sure your finger is facing this direction. Reach forward and pinch the Q-tip right here, but of course that direction, and pull it away, straightening out your fingers. So now the Q-tip's way over here, but behind, and jiggle it deep into your brain, giving the illusion that it's inside your head, and pull your finger away. Always make sure that the Q-tip is facing you so they can't see it. Now to bring it back, you're gonna do the same thing in reverse. Put your finger to your ear and look as if you're coming up to pinch the Q-tip's end, which should be in here somewhere, right? and you're going to gently place the Q-tip into your ear and then bring your thumb to the tip so that you can slowly give this illusion that you're pulling out and continue that pulling once you get to the end of the Q-tip. Pretty cool illusion. Here's another great prank using a Q-tip. All you're gonna do is dig around inside your ear a little bit and then pull out, oh! Disgusting! A whole bunch of wax. Now here is the secret. All you're doing is flipping the Q-tip around. You can place it into your ear. Again, make sure that you don't expose that part. Hide it with your fingers, stick it into your ear, turn your head away a little bit, and simply just flip that around. Dig around a little bit as you're having a conversation with your sister or mom, and come back and be like, ugh and pull it out. Now you can have bugs and hair, you can do whatever you want. I happen to be using some wax. I have a whole bucket of this wax I use in magic tricks, so I happen to have that. Use anything you want, but that's the trick right there. You may be familiar with this concept of putting a straw in water, covering the top, lifting it up, and then letting go with your finger at the top right here, and then all that water comes running out of the straw. Do this a couple times, then prank your friends by doing this. So you give the illusion that you poured all the water into your ear when you released and then you spit it out of your mouth. So how do you do it? It's a really cool deception. What you're going to do is really pull some water up into the straw and cap it off with your finger. Like that. And show your victim that water pours out of the straw. Do that once or twice. Then here comes the bluff. You're going to suck water up again, but this time into your mouth. Don't swallow it and pretend to cap the straw. So here's what you're going to do. Suck it up. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I'm gonna swallow my water so I can talk. Pretend to cap the straw, but slightly have a, a, a little bit of an opening on the back. Don't actually cap the straw all the way so air can escape. So when you lift the straw up, all the water comes out of the straw. So it'll look like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This next one's a bit of a visual illusion, and I did this at a tattoo parlor one time with a guy who had a big loop in his ear. I stuck my finger through my loop, like this, and I pulled and ripped it, and he freaked out. So of course, I don't have a loop in my ear. This is just an illusion. What you're gonna do is simply pinch with your thumb and first finger that top piece of your ear and curl this bottom part up 
like that and you're gonna make it look like your thumb is going through a loop and just pull on it. It's pretty creepy. So again, right here, stick this flap up if you happen to have a nice piece of skin there, it helps. And there you go. And then pull on that sucker, uh, 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 and rip it, uh. So speaking of loops, if someone has a loop in their ear and they're a friend of yours and they're passed out drunk at a party or they're just asleep camping, here's something really mean you could do to them. Take a padlock, stick it in their ear, loop, and lock that sucker shut. Now here's the prank. Leave a key in it or near it that does not work the lock. So they will sit there and try to fudge with that sucker for a while until you reveal the prank. Another thing you could do, which I think is even better, is take a combination lock, stick it on their ear, lock that sucker shut, and leave a combo laying on the table next to them that does not operate the lock. Of course, my real combo is right here and you wanna make sure you know the combo so you can get this back off their ear later after they freak out. For this next one, you're gonna need a coin or preferably a big coin or something you can hide easily inside your fist. And I'm gonna be teaching you the classic pull a coin from the ear gag, but done in a very skillful and professional way that actually fools people. I've been doing magic professionally outside of YouTube for 20 years. I travel all around the world and I see people do this gag all the time and this is what they do. They take an object, they hide it in their hand like a fist and they reach forward to somebody, let's pretend this is someone's head and ear right here, and they go, oh, what's that in your ear? Ooh, whoop, and they pull it out like that and it's cute, it might fool the person they did it to because they can't see how horrible the hand was, but to anyone else that's watching, it doesn't fool them at all. So here's a way you can do this with much more finesse and skill. Hide a coin flat against your fingertips like this. Don't make a fist. Keep it nice and flat like this. And as you reach forward to that ear, just draw back your fingers. And what you're doing is just pushing forward with your thumb to expose that coin a little bit. It's a lot more elegant as you reach forward. It looks like it almost appears. Now here's a way to do it in a very professional way. Hide the coin inside this notch between your thumb and first finger right here. So you can have your hand sideways and there's nothing in your hand, right? If you bring your first finger and thumb together and make a circle, you can turn around and never show anything is in your hand whatsoever when it's actually right here in this clipped position. So if you open up your fingers and face toward the person, they can see it. So just remember to have your hand closed a little bit, very naturally like this. So in action, it would look like this. Hey Johnny, you have, you have something in your ear right there. Let me, get, let me get that. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, coin. So you can reach forward and then the coin appears. Now, how do you make it pop up? What you do is you hold it in this position right here. It's very simple, but this is the tricky part. You're gonna curl your hand back and let your middle finger get underneath that coin and it's gonna let the coin rest on it right there. See that? So what you're gonna do is bring that coin forward and you're gonna pinch it between your first finger and thumb and make it pop up. Now, if you really wanna go uber advanced, you can lift and let the coin go up on its own and catch it right there so that it appears a lot faster. So it would look like this. And that is a kick butt way to make a coin appear from someone's ear. For this next one, you're gonna tell people you're gonna make this pin cap vanish. Here's how you do it. Place the pin cap onto your hand and what you're gonna do is strike it with the pin. You're gonna bring the pin up and smash the cap and it's gonna make it vanish. Watch, one, two, three. Whoa, the pin and the cap has vanished. So here's how you do it. Put the cap on your hand and you're gonna use the pin to strike the cap to make it vanish. Bring the pin up, one, two, three, and when you go up on the third time, leave the pin on your ear. Just one, two, three, boom. And so it stays there. So that's phase one. Making the cap actually vanish is very clever and takes a bit of skill and timing. So to make the cap vanish, you're gonna leave the pin on your ear on that third attempt. And when you come down to strike the cap, you're gonna throw that cap into this hand. And this is very important here. You're not gonna throw it like that. Don't toss it. 
is a little bit of a pop right here and a scoop, but it's done very quick as if all you were doing was that. Boom, striking, because what you want it to look as if you're doing is that. So making this cap vanish by doing one, two, and three without a pin in your hand and then striking it away is derived from a magic effect where you would do the same thing but with the pin. One, two, three, and you're striking that cap away by scooping it. One, two, three, and the object's gone, but it's in this hand. Isn't that cool? Here's a super advanced bonus. You've just made the cap vanish. Show that it's gone, and then as you bring your hand up, drop that cap into the original hand as you reach up and grab the pin, and then come down and make the cap reappear. You could even turn the pin around and stick the cap back onto the pin as you rotate your hand and make the cap reappear on the pin. Now putting all that advanced stuff together, it would look like this. One, two, three, the cap is gone. Let me get my pin. Oh, and now the cap is back. So it's easy to make the cap vanish to this hand, bring your hand forward, drop it off as you reach up for the pin, and now the cap's back in this hand. All right, so you're outside hiking with your friends and you wanna mess with them. Here's what you do. You're hiking along, you see a weed, you pluck it out of the ground when they're not looking, just a weed like this, like some wheat, something nice and long and stiff. Your buddy's right here to your left, walking along, and from behind you, you're gonna reach up and you're gonna tickle their ear as you're having a conversation. So put it right in their ear, like this, tickle, tickle, tickle and they would never suspect it to you because you're having a conversation. As soon as you tickle them, bring it straight back down to your side. I've seen lots of people do this kind of prank where they reach forward and tickle somebody and it makes them think it's a spider or a bug and it's cute. But this is a little more deceptive when you do it behind you and you tickle the person right next to you as you're drinking your drink, hiking and talking, you tickle them and you bring it straight back down. So it's a lot more disguised because they're not gonna see that you're holding anything right here as you're casually walking. So this is a way to prank your buddy right next to them when you're out in the woods. So this is what it looks like from the back. Let's say your buddy's over here, have the stick hanging down, bring it up, tickle his ear right here, tickle, tickle, and bring it straight back down. Now what you can do while you're walking is just have a conversation and just kind of swat away a bug or two and about 30 seconds later, bring this up, tickle, tickle, bring it straight back down, and you'll freak the guy out. You could be doing this for an hour and they won't catch you. This next one's really creepy and visual and all you need is a little bit of dental floss. Oh, hold on a second. What is that? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, hold on a second. Excuse me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, ah, I feel that. Uh. This is another one of those weird kind of pranks I came up with years ago. What you're gonna do is take a length of dental floss and you're gonna prepare this in a very specific way. You're gonna pinch it between two fingers and you're gonna take it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And what you're doing is this. You're creating like a little accordion. You're gonna go back and forth until you're out of string. And the reason you do that is so the string does not get caught on itself when you pull it out of your ear. What's cool about dental floss is it sticks together pretty well, so just very slightly squish it to where it's in a ball. And now you can take this and stick it in your ear, right here, and have maybe a small piece of that string at the end coming out. So you could be having a conversation with someone and be like, ah, dang it, what is that? Ooh, something's in my ear. Wait, what is this? And then when you pull the end of that string, pull downwards, not straight out, because you'll pull the whole ball with it. Pull down, and that little notch in your ear right there is a perfect channel for that string to pull out. See, isn't that cool? Ah, ah, oh my God, what is that? Ah, what is this? Ah, crazy, right? 
So in this next one, you're gonna help somebody out a little bit. You're gonna say, oh hey, you got something in your ear right there, or something on your ear, or something in your hair. You're gonna reach forward, and let's just say this is their ear. You're gonna reach forward and pretend to wipe something away, but what you're really doing is sticking something on them as you help them out. And then a few minutes later, you sit back and laugh as they find the surprise. So all you have to do is get some creepy object like a fake spider and put a little double stick tape on it, hide it in your hand like this, and then just point and go, oh bro, you got something on your ear. And as you reach forward, just stick this on them as you brush and you're a good Samaritan and you walk away and then you sit back and laugh. All right, I hope you enjoyed those 10 weird pranks and tricks you could do with your ears. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I happen to have, speaking of weird, a DVD called The Unorthodox Collection, which is hours of crazy tricks that are weird, that don't really have a specific place in books or DVDs published elsewhere. If you want this, comment down below. I'm just gonna take a random comment, so have at it. The other thing I wanna say is I'm gonna be uploading videos every Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Those are pranks and social experiments. And every Thursday morning, 8 a.m. Pacific are tutorials and how-tos. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And what I want you to do is go out and hashtag making pranks great again. Anytime you see a video that is mean-spirited or fake and just stupid and put a link to my YouTube channel and let's let people know that pranks are not dead and that there's a few of us out there that are still professional, doing them right and doing them real. And I'm gonna count on you guys to help us out. So thank you guys so much for the support and I'll catch you next time. Peace.